Artificial intelligence, AI is currently a mega topic with the um, emergence of ChatGPT. And in this video, we'll talk with the CFO of SAP Health and, um, you know, around the invest case also of SAP Health. Many just see SAP Health as a uh, device manufacturer for variables and so on. However, I always pointed out the reason why I personally like the company is about all of the data and possibly the health services connected to that. And uh, we'll see like um, what the CFO can tell us about this. By the way, this interview is just part of a longer series. It's more than one hour can be accessed already today. If you become a patron member of the channel, link down in the description. Otherwise, feel free to watch these bit by bit released here on the channel. Thanks for your support and see you in the next video. Good. So this is mainly on, let's say, the hardware product. Um, which we all know about, which is very visible. And um, I think, uh, which is also, you know, uh, yeah, very assuring in a way uh, from an investor's perspective, because you can actually go in a store, in a local store and check out a product, or you can even read Amazon reviews in English. And I think there are mixed reviews. Uh, so some of them are very good. I think the, the product has received very good comments, but uh, also, of course, uh, there's always negatives uh, as well. And I think, one of them might be in the area of software. And it's, I think, not so long ago that since uh, SAP Health actually has um, started to have a CTO. Is mm -hmm. this right? It's maybe yeah. a year now? Yeah. Uh, it's so, and uh, your own OS. Correct. And uh, what's, the, what's the strategy there? Now, our OS is actually helping us to improve our R&D efficiency dramatically. So mm -hmm. our OS at this moment has already been upgraded from OS version 1.0, 2.0 to the 3.0. Mm -hmm. So this year we're going to release our OS 3.0. And if you count the different apps, which we uh, both uh, third-party apps as well as our own apps, uh, which are the, the numbers of the apps which we have been supporting is also increasing, right? So I think to the hundreds. Right? Okay. Uh, and, and most of the majority of the uh, uh, functions which Apple Watch or uh, uh, Google, uh, Galaxy Watch can achieve, for example, on the map, on the offline uh, 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 trail uh, type of uh, mapping and uh, tracking, that type of functionalities, our OS is capable of doing as well. And we're also bringing more third-party integrations, uh, apps integrations into our uh, OS as well. Right? And the OS itself, is it, uh, it's like your intellectual property Correct. you have developed it yourself or is it based let's say on an android kernel or no something? no it's, it's, it's actually uh, 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 it's actually used a technology called atos okay uh, atos is actually similar to what fitbit uh, have okay. um, uh, in their uh, operating system uh -huh. right so it's an open uh, and uh, kind of uh, uh, operating system whereby uh, third party uh, uh, developers can contribute to it yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so so that's what we do as well we have uh, uh, the, the, the OS is based on our tools and we have uh, uh, a group of uh, Zap OS uh, developers who is actually building uh, hundreds of apps Are into the developers also new to the company like uh, when the CTO joined like do, do you build a team around software currently or obviously because you've, you've saved some money on uh, on restructuring and R&D right if yeah. I'm correct yeah. yes yes no so I think the saving on the uh, uh, on the on the on the OS part uh, is now actually the OS helped us in saving the R&D cost yeah. because imagine if you have so many lines, mm -hmm. so many SKUs of watches which I just mentioned, mm -hmm. and in the past each of that watch comes with a separate software, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? and so which means you need to have a team of R&D engineers to. Uh, tune everything because each screen, the 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 the, the resolution is different. Each uh, uh, watch, the 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 hardware uh, sockets and the connection are very different. Yeah. And then you have to actually tune all the softwares to cater for all those things. Uh, uh, every single uh, uh, thing, it keep on just multiplying on the resources. Mm -hmm. But then having one Zap OS, we're able to applying this one Zap OS across all the watches. Mm -hmm. So which means you have one operating systems which you can ap uh, apply to all the uh, hardwares we are having instead of in the past you have different teams on every single SKUs or new products you need to tune the software okay right? so so from that perspective 
ZapOS actually saved a lot of our R&D resources, mm -hmm. which means we don't have to sacrifice on the quality, uh, but in the meantime, we can improve the productivity. Mm -hmm. right? uh, on the software engineer side, uh, I think we have applied a approach whereby, for sure, we have uh, in-house software engineers and then software uh, uh, developers who is actually developing uh, 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 apps on the OS. Mm -hmm. But we also have a group of Zap OS developers, similar to the Apple iOS developers. Mm -hmm. You can be a developer. Mm -hmm. Somewhere sitting in uh, uh, Germany can be a developer, as long as you know how to write apps in. Uh, atos, yeah, okay. right. So, so these guys also contribute to our uh, 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 Zap OS app stores, and then this also help us to actually in, 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 in improve our user experience uh, uh, on our watches. Okay, so one side is doing the, the front end, like the user experience, make the watch uh, being something that is more attra appealing. attractive yeah. and more appealing. Uh, so people buy the actual watch, but uh, what is the, the long shot here? Is um, SAP have, um, you know, on, on also the software and the data side, and I think, um, you know, speaking about healthcare and now the conjunction of uh, artificial intelligence, like, is the company strategically positioned in order to play a role in this emerging trend here, or is it kind of more of a meeting the uh, the basic needs of the user and like some some housekeeping right what is the what's the current uh, the status quo there or and the outlook indeed now so we're actually transforming the company from uh, a, a, a smart wearable or smart watch company into a more healthcare service and uh, a healthcare devices company mm -hmm. right uh, and then uh, number one is to actually to 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 have more product form factors on uh, our offerings, right? Mm -hmm. Other than the watch, the band, uh, we actually have uh, uh, the TWS headphones, but with a health angle to it. Um, we also have the hearing aid uh, uh, devices, which we only sell in the United States because uh, 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 there's a, a different uh, uh, revolution going on on the hearing aid uh, uh, products. What's the status about this? Because I just briefly uh, researched it. I saw the, the website and stuff, but when did you start selling it? And do we, you have any progress to no, share? We, we, we only started around one year ago. Yeah. And I think because it's actually a D2C uh, type of direct-to-consumer approach, okay. and also because of the regulation in U.S. is recently changed and it's actually more changed towards our favor right mm -hmm. uh, before the hearing aid devices can only be sold uh, by prescription uh, from the doctor and now it can be sold over the counter mm -hmm. right and then there's a lot of things which are uh, uh, being uh, changed over there but we think and we have high hopes on the uh, hearing aid uh, devices as well but no, no. So, uh, without going into the details, I, I'm just. This is just one of the proof points that we're actually trying to look at the different type of form factors, be it a watch, a patch, um, and uh, a ring, or uh, whatever. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, these are going to help you to monitor your vitals, to help you to have a better uh, 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 lifestyle, mm -hmm. uh, a healthier lifestyle, and this all going to improve the quality of life of our consumers and our users. Mm -hmm. So that's the things which we're trying to do. I think we're not limiting ourselves to a band or watch company. We're actually a bigger wearable and health service uh, uh, and health devices company. And this is more talking about the hardware part, right? Yeah. But not, I mean, we call it a smart wearable because there's an app, and we just talk about the Dapp OS and the App Store and everything to it. And then we're actually trying to build more health and hardcore health function to it, right? So, for example, in China, our watch is already capable in measuring the blood pressure. Um, which we're going through the uh, mm -hmm. the FDA appro uh, approvals in the rest of the world as we speak, right? And then we're actually trying to also uh, uh, investigate um, if it is capable to measure your blood sugar status mm -hmm. with the watch, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. On the health and how what 
kind of uh, sensor censoring activities which you can bring into the watch we're always making uh, a, a lot of effort in pushing for that mm -hmm. right so so that's on um, the sensoring capabilities and the third part to it is on the algorithms mm -hmm. right uh, on how to apply, for example, AI into it. Actually, mm -hmm. we just launched our uh, 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 chat, uh, 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 some, uh, uh, the function which is called Zap Coach, right? Zap Coach mm -hmm. is an AI-based uh, functionality to coach you on how to, for example, on how to run, uh, if you are preparing for a half marathon, how mm -hmm. you should prepare for it. Right. And what kind of data is it um, accessing? Just of the device or from the from the whole fleet of uh, all of the wearables, or is it even accessing external data, uh, let's say, like searching for the weather or other information and stuff? Uh, What's going into it? I, I think it's what the user give consent to it, mm -hmm. right? I think majority of the data uh, which were, uh, or what we have applied in the Zap Coach is based on uh, the, 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 the the data we, we 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 kind of collected from the watch or the band mm -hmm. from our products and uh, and then uh, coupling that with the uh, uh, chat GPT we use the API right uh, and then we and then we basically integrate the two together to actually create a tailored uh, approach for a user for a specific user uh, himself so but uh, what's the the aspect of ChatGPT, so you're accessing an API, or uh, how does it, uh, how, what's the, uh, I'm trying to understand which part is, you know, coming from, let's say, SAP Health, uh, and what's your contribution and uh, additional added value, or what, what part of it is, you know, like maybe provided by an external service and you're just, um, you're being the front end of displaying it. Now we're actually deeply integrating the ChatGPT in, uh, uh, functionality into how we process and come up with a recommendation uh, to a user. For example, um, uh, if you want to prepare for a marathon, uh, we look at your today's uh, exercise you did, mm -hmm. and then we also look at, uh, as, as you said, and the ChatGPT data can also couple this data with the, the weather, mm -hmm. the, the, the location, uh, you're doing this specific exercise and uh, how much calories you burned, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then, looking at all those information, we're going to give you a tailored uh, recommendation on if today you need to rest a little bit more, you need mm -hmm. to, to uh, eat something uh, or specific vegetables or meat. And that's or, for SEP Coach, right? Yes, that's SEP and Coach. That, that's a subscription, or how do you? At this moment, it's actually it's open. Just in China? It, no, it's oh. actually uh, uh, for sure it is in US. Okay, uh, and uh, I think we're going to roll it out globally uh, in different uh, regions as we speak. Okay, and uh, pricing uh, at this time moment of time is for free. Okay, got yeah. it. Yeah. So, but but all right. But this is uh, this gives me the understanding that SAP is working more than. Uh, you know, not only providing the hardware, but providing an additional service on top of that, that is not only um, adding a functionality that somebody else created, but let's say somehow you on this page even compete with something like Strava, like the, the, the running app, which uh, or uh, can also do other stuff, but they also have some sort of those kind of algorithms or Correct. cultures and stuff so this is an area which you are getting into Correct. now the question is can you do why you do that and what makes you confident that you can do it better or that you should it do yourself uh, what, what's the idea behind this now so so I think uh, that coach is just one of the uh, examples I give you right yeah. there's another service which is obviously a paid service called Zap aura yeah. right Zap aura is a service whereby we use AI to actually generate the uh, uh, tailor-made uh, melodies for you to focus better sleep better and then to rest better okay right so 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 these uh, I mean it's to put it in a very simple word is that um, your body and uh, it reacts differently to different type of melodies mm -hmm. right but you don't know uh, if you just listen to calm or whatever mm -hmm. um, whether this is your music or this is something uh, uh, doesn't work for you right so now with uh, a band or watch or different form factor which offered by Zap 
uh, and even our TWS uh, uh, headphones, we can combine all those data together to see if your body reacts really uh, better to certain melodies uh, than the other, mm -hmm. right? Thanks. And then with this, you it takes a training period of around seven days. Uh, then you can our that our service can actually generate you the best uh, uh, AI music which fit into your own uh, 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 vitals mm -hmm. uh, to help you to sleep, focus, and rest better. Right. So uh, kind of uh, with all of these initiatives and services on top, it's kind of a couple of different startups that you're running, Correct. right? And you also have even investments in. External, very like the, the MRI very hardcore uh, yeah. uh, 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 medical devices yes yeah yeah so uh, do you manage those investments or is it uh, do you have like a, a venture arm or uh, how do you decide what kind of services you're launching or is this all following a bigger plan already who's kind of you know uh, help us to understand how is SAP health thinking about um, uh, you know saying what is part of the ecosystem and what needs to be developed or not like we we, we do have a, a a strategy and but 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 but, but uh, excuse me i couldn't elaborate too much on sure. uh, uh, on that today uh, but we do have a strategy which we look at the different life cycles of a person a human being right okay. for example